Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I know my job is to uh, step up uh, when my name is called, and, uh, you know, fortunately I did that tonight, and, uh, you know, I thought I got better as the game went on, and, um, you know, it just is a really good one for our team, and, uh, you know, we're going to need to keep this one going going forward. Bouncing back after last night's loss against Merrimack, just mentally, what did you, make, you do to kind of key back in and refocus? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, especially as a goalie, you can prove yourself every game, and, you know, you're only as good as your last game, so I think uh, for me, never getting too high or too low, and uh, you know, just trying to be consistent. Uh, you know, for the guys in front of me and for our team, uh, something I you know really try to do, and obviously it's a, a huge bounce back win for us. For Bobo, where does that uh, save on the first play that break, and then yes, the save he seems to make this year? I don't know. He's had so many. It's like there's <laughs> too many to go at the top. So. <laughs> You guys have had a real roller coaster week at Ascension. Your name number one on Monday, uh, then the winning streak ends, get swept by Merrimack, and then kind of like a bend but don't break win tonight. Uh, any lessons learned from, from really going through a lot of emotional ups and downs over the last week? I think there's a lot of lessons learned. Um, every night we got to come out and give it. We're going to uh, see every team's all. I mean, everyone's going to want to beat us. And, move up the ladder in the standing. So we definitely learned that we got to come out every night, no matter what, and play like a pro team. So I definitely think we showed that tonight, too. The two big goals for you, Bobo. Do you think that that first one kind of really started to shift momentum? I think that every goal shifts momentum. Our, um, the team was plugging away. We got the bounces tonight. We were, we were making the bounces, which I think got the momentum going. So we were all working, skating. Um, the team was just in sync today, and that's what we needed. We needed to find that again. Can you walk me through what was going through your head for that first goal you scored? Uh, the first goal, I uh, saw my line mates, Keller and Greenway. They worked really hard down low. They were moving the puck. That's what they do best. So I was just trying to get in the open area. And Keller, he sees the ice so well. He got that. He slid it out. And I just wanted to get it on net. So I got the lucky bounce, and I was in the right place. And for Bobo, one of the things that Coach had echoed um, last night and today as well was he felt that you guys needed to get back into this kind of blue-collar work. Just like the goal they, they helped me get, and then Berto down low too. I mean, we all were moving the puck. We wanted to keep our feet moving. Berto made a great pass out. I th think it was Kelly who got the shot off, but those chances came from that work. The work we do in the corners like that, and that's our game. We, we like to wear people down, and that's the blue-collar work we have to keep going, and that's the simple hockey that's going to take us far in these uh, final months of the season. For Jake, maybe to what degree um, has this little stretch here this last season? five, six days, whatever, been more about, I guess, mentally um, than on the ice. It seems like it was maybe trying to get over that mental hurdle. Yeah, no, I think, um, obviously, you know, when you're name number one, you know that uh, every game that you play, uh, you're going to get the team's best. And uh, I think, obviously, that was the case uh, against Merrimack. And uh, for us, we, you know, we really learned that uh, no matter what the atmosphere, we're playing here at Indianas or, you know, on the road, we need to bring our best game because every team's, uh, you know, going to be gunning for us. So I think uh, for us as a team, I think we just need to, you know, be mentally prepared every game to, to battle and to, to stick to our systems, you know, which is uh, blue collar hockey. And, um, I think we did that tonight and got awarded. You know, Clayton is on a 13 game point streak right now. Coach Quinn called his goal on the ice tonight. Just what does his presence mean to you guys as a team? Yeah, I mean, he's a, a difference maker and, uh, you know, definitely someone I'm, I'm happy he's on. Uh, Obviously, uh, goes to show obviously why he was uh, such a high pick, and uh, you know it's going to have such a long career in the NHL because uh, you know there's no one that sees the ice as well as him and uh, as he starts sees on the ice. It's fun to be on the ice, and especially on uh, the right side. I mean, you know he's going to make the plays. You know, um, he's just going to turn things around when they need to get turned around. So it's, he's a great player, and he knows what to do and get the puck in the back of the net for sure. All right, I guess this question is for both of you. Towards the end there, they score that second goal and then immediately go on the power play. How do you keep it together to keep the game in your favor? I think we keep our uh, mental composure down. I think we don't get overexcited. We just keep playing our game, uh, make the strong plays, you know, force anything. I think we just stayed, stayed strong in our uh, D zone and didn't give them any chances. Yeah, I think, um, you know, just trusting our penalty kill, which has, uh, you know, been uh, really good all year. And, uh, our systems and uh, you know 
of the guys in front of me did a great job, obviously killing it off, and then uh, you know scoring the shorthanded goal kind of you know sealed it. So uh, obviously uh, you know it was a, a big point in the game, and uh, you know all the guys stepped up. Anything else? Thanks, guys.